So this is your review of the Transformers Generations Cyber Battalion Sideswipe. So these guys just started popping up here in Melbourne and at clearance prices no, no less. So I thought I'd pick up a few of them. There's the other two that I picked up and I'd uh, show them all to you guys. I know these have been released maybe one, two years ago already, but yeah, just started seeing them here now. So, taking a look at the package first, there you see a cartoon image of Sideswipe, as well as the figure in robot and vehicle mode. On the side is the same cartoon image of Sideswipe, which looks nothing like this one except for the head maybe, but what can you do? At the back, there's a brief bio of Sideswipe. Let me close it if you want to see it. There you go. It's only 18 steps. And the transformation steps are clearly indicated there. Right side is nothing. Now, inside, so you know what you're getting, is just this brown box. And there's basically nothing there. And he's just on twisty ties. Or well, not even twisty ties, these plastic ties there. So, yeah, fairly bare bone, bones. Um, if you're not familiar with the Cyber Battalion line, they're pretty much a, a budget-friendly transformer line. Um, very sturdy, very simple as well. And I'll show you how just how simple it is. So, taking a closer look at Sideswipe here, it's not a bad looking Sideswipe, although the robot mode shouts more, if they painted it white or something like that, it shouts more um, jazz to me than Sideswipe, with the, you know, the grill on the chest and all that, but yeah, color wise though, it is pretty much side swipe colors this red looks more cherry red than orange still still not the same like darker red that we're used to with side swipe but it's not bad red color um there are appropriate paint apps here and there it's not like it's too too lacking in paint sculpt wise in pretty solid lacks a bit in articulation in the appropriate places but you know the head is definitely side swipe so mistaking that there is some hollowness in the forearms which is not too bad the back there is some hollowness on the feet which is a bit ghastly but you know what what can you do it's cheap no budget friendly not too bad now, in terms of articulation there is a swivel on the head swivel on the upper arm or on the shoulder no swivel cut here which is unfortunate the arms go that much out 90 degree bend on the elbow nothing on the wrist nothing on the waist Legs to go out that much, forward that much, back only that much. Knee, which is lower than I'm used to, but at least he has it. And it goes all the way out because of transformation. And the feet can go forward for transformation and nothing else. No pivot or anything. Um, for the price, I'm not too bummed out of the articulation. If he did have the swivels here would be sufficient um, as of now that's the only thing lacking or majorly lacking for me but you know it's not a bad looking figure especially for the price point and the size which I'll show you now so size comparisons here is with Siege Sideswipe so he's double the size of Siege Sideswipe and here he is with um, the Bamboo Me movie uh, Prime from Studio Series. He's even taller than him, so you know. For the price point, it's not too bad. Oh, and here he is with Ducky. 
Let me know if you want a review of Ducky here. And this bear. But yeah, not a bad size. Not a bad size. Now in terms of transformation, as, as the instructions says, it's fairly straightforward. So first thing you do, it, it even said first step is turning the head around, which you don't need to do anyway, unless um, there's still visible head syndrome anyway. Um, then you, let, let's do the step since the instruction says to do so. So do that. Rotate the top part. Flip the feet. Flip this up. And while you're flipping, stick them together. Oops, sorry. The instruction says to stick them together while they're flipping, but it's pretty much impossible just because of the angle. Then squeeze this together. This is a bit tough for some reason. Um, this and this seems to clash, so you need to like. Um, wait, 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 well, what's all this? Widen this up a bit, or what I do is I turn the leg forward and then try to squeeze it under. Still a bit tough, but you know that's the easiest I can think of. Does that nasty sound every time I transform it? But okay, do. There you go, and then the arms basically just fold into place there, and you have to tab it under. Now that's side swiping vehicle mode. It's not a bad looking car. This is more sparsely painted than the robot mode, but otherwise it is nice. Rolls well. Can't complain. It's like an oversized, like, Legends class figure. Right? Not too bad. So, just to show you a quick comparison, let me just transform this guy quickly. Just because I don't want to spend too much time editing videos for for that guy so yeah there you go that's how big he is easily double the size of siege sideswipe i mean even the car mode doesn't look like sideswipe to me um, but yeah, it's not a bad looking car mode. So, I mean, I guess for a kid, it's not a bad figure. Even for adult collectors, this is probably the best one in the line. Um, has a solid robot and vehicle mode. It's, it's, it makes for a nice, sturdy toy at the very least. So that's it. Um, and if you like that review, please do leave a like, leave a comment, do subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.